Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on two-tailed critical regions with the binomial distribution on a Casio FXCG50. We are going to be using the distribution app on the FXCG50 to find critical regions where there are two tails using the binomial distribution. Let's take a look at the question. A test statistic follows a binomial distribution. We have n, a number of trials of 40, and a probability p with a null hypothesis, h0, p equals 0 0.3, and an alternative hypothesis, h1, p does not equal 0 0.3. And that does not equal means that we have a two-tail test. We have to test the lower tail and the upper tail, so we have to find critical regions for both those tails. Determine the critical region of the test statistic to ensure that the probability in each tail is as close as possible to 5%. So it's 5% or as close as possible in each tail. So essentially we're looking for a 10% significance level in total. And then part B, calculate the probability of incorrectly rejecting H0 using this critical region. From the menu, let's go to distribution. Now I have the default settings here. You may have previous values stored. Now we are not able to use the central region here as a way of being able to find both tails simultaneously. Unfortunately, that's because the calculator doesn't know exactly where to put that centralized region. So you have to find each tail, the lower tail and the upper tail individually and then put those regions together. We're going to start with the lower tail. If it's not on there by default, you just need to go to tail and press F1 to select that. Scrolling down, we are going to leave X as default, whatever it is, we will change that within the distribution. Number of trials is 40, and the P we will assume is correct from H0, so that is 0 0.3, and then we'll press execute to finish. So within the distribution display, well, we're not really displaying much right now, but what we need to do is to alter the probability to match the significance level. Now, the question says that we need as close as possible to 5%, that's 0 0.05, and that is what we are going to input in here and press execute. Now, if you have seen the previous video on looking for the regions with one tail tests, then you will know that the calculator goes to the closest value that is within the accepted region, so that is outside of the critical region. If we have a look at the probability, that is 0.0552, that is too large, that is not the X value that we want. So what we need to do is, if we're looking for the lower tail as we are here, we need to go one less to get the actual significance level that we have and to find and define the critical region there. So we're going to enter six here, and you can see here that the probability is now 0 0.0237. Now that is the actual value of the critical region. We're going to need that for part B, but in terms of being able to define the critical region for the lower tail, it's values that are less than six. We could say potentially from zero to six. Let's go to the upper tail now. So within the distribution display, we can change to looking at regions greater than a given value. So if we press option and then F4, you can see we've changed the orientation of the probability to be greater than or equal to. But at the moment, because we've just kept our X value as six, we're not showing any relevant probability. So we need to change that now back to 0 0.05 and press execute. And you can see here, yet again, the calculator has given us the last possible x value which is in the region for which we would not reject h0 which is 17 the probability it gives is too large that is greater than 0 0.05 so with the upper tail we need to go one greater one more than the x value that's given so we're going to increase that to 18. you can see here that we have a probability of 0 0.0319 and that is the size of the critical region in the upper tail. So we've got values that are greater than or equal to 18, all the way up to potentially 40, as that's the number of trials. And the actual significance level there is 0 0.0319, and we're going to need that one as well for part B. Let's just define the critical region then. 
we can have x values of less than or equal to 6, or, and we can signify that with the union symbol, or we can have x values that are greater than or equal to 18. If any future test value falls in the region of between 0 and 6, or between 18 and 40, then that would cause us to reject H0. Let's have a look at part B. We're going to need the two probabilities that we found for the critical regions. We're going to add them together. From the lower tail, we had 0 0.0237, and from the upper tail, we had 0 0.0319. And if we add those together, we get an actual significance level there of 0 0.0556. Essentially, we have a 5.56% probability of incorrectly rejecting H0 using this critical region. So there we go, how we can find two-tailed critical regions using the binomial distribution on a Casio FXCG50. Remember, you have to find the two regions separately, and then if required from the question, you need to then define those regions together. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.